Welcome back to Stargirl. This is season two, episode two, summer school, chapter two, 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 two. Anyways, um, last time we got sort of a like a recap, sort of reintroduction to the characters, where they're going through, what what kind of uh, mental state they're at in this season, following last season's events. Um, we got introduced at the end to. Um, Jade, presumably. I'm just going to keep calling her Jade until they tell me otherwise. Um, and also we got set up for Cindy and how maybe she's going to uh, recruit the other, you know, children of the ISA to make their own uh, new ISA called Injustice Unlimited, I guess. Um, I saw some comments saying, uh, sort of the theory right now is that since Eclipso feeds on like negative energy, um, as we saw in the first scene of last episode, maybe she's gonna try and use that to sort of take over, use Mike as a host body. Again, I, I don't know. It it kind of fits what I was talking about. How they're gonna it, if they'd use Yolanda's brother, since we don't really have a lot of him. Um, you know, we've seen Mike a lot more, so I can see them transferring that plot line into him. Um, I don't know if that'll happen, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I I can see the sort of thoughts they're going through in the show, um, why Mike would possibly switch sides, but also I feel like he's too... I don't think he'd fall for that, you know? Especially if he knows who the ISA are. Like, if Cindy all of a sudden comes along and tries to kidnap him or whatever... Yeah, I feel like he wouldn't fall for it. I don't know. So we'll see. Anyways, let's get into this episode. Again. Yes. Is this Cindy's stepmom? <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> So her brother's confirmed. Love it. They're just going all in. <laughs> I love it. I'm very sorry for the damage. I had no intention of fighting anyone coming here. I mean, all of it is Courtney's it's damage. <laughs> I don't think any of it was actually Jade. <laughs> Slobbery. <laughs> She's oh. like, no. We're not adopting another kid. All right, here you go. <laughs> She's really Green Lantern's daughter. Oh my god. Well, Courtney. Um, <laughs> what if she's not who she says she is? What, what if she's like a spy or something? A spy? Yeah, for, for one of the JSA's old enemies. Oh my god. Ma'am. Like Baron von Blitzkrank. Okay, they're, they're looking for villains everywhere. Mm -hmm, exactly. And I get it. Being Star Girl, it's everything. This life that you're pursuing, it's more about helping people than it is fighting the bad guys. And that's what you're good at. Yolanda, Rick, Beth, you gave them a shot when nobody else would. It's not about, it's not about fighting people, it's about helping people. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> is this your seat? I'm sorry. I I'm not hungry. So, um. You're not being replaced, Courtney, okay? I don't really like that plotline that they're going with, pitting girls against each other. <laughs> Isaac Bowen. Here. What was that? Here! Who? Please. <laughs> okay, Dugan. Alan had to recharge the ring once a day using the lantern. Mm. But, you know, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Because she's got the power inside of her. I don't know much about her, but I know that... What? What? Pat said it's true, but also I think she has like a part of it in her. It can create anything that you will it to. How would I even do that? Just think of I just feel so bad for the Arrowverse fans because I know <laughs> they're all waiting for fucking John Diggle to do something with the Green Lantern. And in this show, second episode of the second season, we're getting everything. A little weird, but 
What makes you so suspicious? Right. Courtney. She was super polite. <laughs> she fixed the table. She made pancakes. She made pancakes? <laughs> I was in a shade just because it's a black car, but. I mean. Is it? <laughs> Are we getting him this, sir, this soon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Kind of a retcon, because wasn't he. Didn't he go to the ISA headquarters last at the end of the last season? So now he's like firstly arriving to the city again. I don't get it. It's come to my attention that the late William Zarek had a noteworthy oh. collection of magical stage props Zarek? and sundries from the past Jesus. now held in trust. I'll be in touch with you. No. <laughs> but it's a good thing that the family knows who the ISA are now because like she knows Zarek. That's weird. He was one of the ISA. Incredible. You, you guys see that? God, Courtney. So, uh, <laughs> you told her about the team? Courtney, calm down. Your stepdaughter kills Cindy Berman. <laughs> what the f This season is crazy. Lord, I mean, your greatest superpower is seeing the good in other people. But you can't seem to see it in Jenny. Can't and She's too good. I think she just feels inadequate. I'm jealous and or something. And she's a superhero's daughter. Yeah. For real. So the fuck what? Courtney. <laughs> she's just trying to learn more about a father she never really knew. That's all. That's why she's here. Mm-hmm. I really hope by the end of the episode they can be chill because I don't want this to be a, a thread throughout this whole season. Pretty lonely. Yeah. Pretty lonely. Oh my god. This show is just so good for me. <laughs> Fucking Zarek. No. <laughs> Do sit down. Uh, Appreciate it. <laughs> I didn't catch your name. <laughs> yeah, I'm 56 road master. That's kind of my number one car. I actually noticed. I am. <coughs> I, I just remembered something. I, I'm I, I'm double parked, but it, it sure was nice to meet you, Mr. Swift. And you. Yeah. What happened? It's her emotional yeah, turmoil. Take it away from people we thought. It's all my fault. Jenny is the lantern. That's why the ring works when you put it on. Because you're charging it. You can absorb the energy. I'm not going anywhere, Jenny. We do it as a family. <laughs> you can do this. Is it? Are you turning green? I think I got it. You better don't. You better don't. You better. Oh my god, where is she? Oh my god. Oh. Are you. No. Okay, thank god. Okay, thank god. I was. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. She was gone when I woke up. Oh, come on. I had a feeling. She was only a guest starring, so. I'm done with that. What are you talking about? Jenny, <laughs> she made me realize what was really important. Yeah, by Friends. the way, <laughs> one of these old files is coming back to us. All right. All right. <laughs> it's actually called the shade. There's bad news. And he's the last member of the Injustice Society that's unaccounted for. <laughs> Courtney, please. 
She's so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> Ma'am. Okay. You know she got regenerative powers. Come on. Oh. She's possessed by Eclipso now. I can't believe she actually feels bad about that, though. Oh, well, I guess she does have mommy issues because she killed her first, her actual mother. Really good episode, again, like nonstop good. Fucking this, this show is so good to me. Um, as far as Jade goes, Jenny, um, I had a feeling she would, you know, for a second there, I actually thought she did explode because <laughs> I was like. I, I knew one way or another they're gonna have to write her off the show, you know. Um, they during the opening credits when you know they're doing all the actors and stuff. Um, I know that she was under the guest starring, so I was like, if she's not at least in the main credits, she's probably not gonna be showing up a lot. In which case, she's probably gonna be not around. So I could see that, you know, a mile away that she was gonna be gone. Maybe she'll show up in, at the end of the season, so not you know somewhere out here. Um, but I know that she's not going to be sticking around because, uh, she's, <laughs> her power base is, is <laughs> a bit too, too high up on the, on the tier rank. But then again, they have Eclipso. <laughs> so, <laughs> they have to fight Eclipso, so like, maybe they need that kind of power base. And also the fact that Shade, you know, I don't know who in particular Shade is a nemesis towards, but I know that, like I said before, shadows and green lantern and the star the cosmic staff it, it's all kind of like light based stuff so um I, I for a second there i was like well she might be the good counter towards shade but we're probably gonna go to star you know if, if shade is becoming one of these primary antagonists then star girl is probably gonna be the one that goes up against him um i love the acknowledgement that she has a brother um I get, i'm assuming that's what she's gonna do now because that was kind of her outburst was that she wants to go find her brother um so hopefully down the line we do get to see him too um i don't know i wish they the only thing i wish is that they had a little bit of better way of her leaving the show um you know at least have her doing a goodbye scene where she says i'm gonna go find him and then i'll be back or you know something like that um, instead of just like saves the day and then disappears like that that just kind of irks me a little bit but it's whatever you know like i said i, I could see it coming um but again <laughs> i just feel so bad for the arrowverse fans because literally what 15 years not 15 years it's not that long at least uh eight years <laughs> of the arrowverse and there's still just like little glimpses of Green Lantern stuff. And I know that they're teasing John Diggle is going to get it. And they're very, very slowly building that up. But <laughs> literally two episodes into this season, we get a Green Lantern. And I just feel so bad for the people that were waiting for J Diggle to get it for so long. We had a little bit of Rick trying to go find Grundy again. I don't know. The framing of that scene is weird. They're, they're setting it up like, I don't know. It, it, I, I, I'm still just curious to see where that's going. Um... Not a lot of Beth this season, uh, this episode. Yolanda, I liked. I liked her being the voice of reason, and you know, obviously, it's a little bit less of her emotional state. Be it was very much a Courtney-focused episode, um, but I just liked the characterization of Yolanda this episode and how she played off of Courtney. Um, I just Pat continues to be my favorite character, to be honest. Like, if I was at gunpoint, I would choose Pat. <laughs> 
Pat is just so good. He has such great dialogue this episode. Um, great emotional beats. I loved his sort of mentor role here. Um, even towards Courtney, his paternal role. And sort of telling her, you know, you went through the same thing. And, you know, how do you think she feels when you're talking to her like this? And I just really like that sort of his empathy. Um, and just, again, maybe it's just because I'm getting older in life and in the, the work that I do but it's just like so refreshing to have like a voice of reason <laughs> to all these teenagers petty drama sometimes um and just being like take a breath think about it because <laughs> that's just how I feel sometimes the side plot with Cindy was interesting again I, I I talked about it right at the end there but I guess her not wanting to kill the stepmom is because she has these this inner turmoil towards her accidentally killing her her biological mother um in which case i can kind of see that why she'd be so broken up about it and you know but she was like damn i was like she's crying about it that's how serious it is so um you know obviously she thinks she's in control eclipso either she's got to pawn it off on somebody or she is going to become the host of eclipso and i'm not sure which one i want more because Either one could be a really interesting um, plot point. Um, kind of going with the villains. We had a little bit of tease of Isaac there. He really <laughs> fucking... He had some some uh, some bass in his voice. Like, damn. You know, I just remember last season. Yes, he had some... He was kind of like the weird... I don't want to be rude and stereotypical, but you know. Um, like, he had, he had that kind of like outcast, like nerdy kind of picked on kid He's like stop it um but like here like there's like some actual threat to him now i could see that so i know i was talking about last episode how i don't really see like i don't know how the fiddler can be a villain but now like if he's that kind of if he's got <laughs> if he's got that mannerism i could see him being an actual um intimidating threat that's the word i'm thinking about and then shade we got introduced to again i don't know this guy but like <laughs> there's something off about him and just like the actor sorry the the actor like he, he's just doing such a good job of like you obviously know something's up with him but you don't know why um obviously i you know obviously i know because i know comics enough to know that this is a character but like if somebody just watching the show and they don't know a lot about the comics, um, he does such a great job of like performing the something's off about him. And he, he knows a little bit too much. Um, and just like his politeness with having a, a sort of an edge to it as well. Um, very good acting choices. So I can't wait to see again. I'm, I'm curious to see how the, all these villain plot lines sort of coalesce because Shade feels like he's doing his own thing, which might be in direct opposition to what Cindy is doing, especially if they're both trying to do ISA stuff. Um, it'll kind of be like, who's who gets... Well, is it resurrecting an old ISA versus a new ISA? Is it trying to take charge of a singular ISA? What kind of plot are they doing there? Is Shade even doing that? What is, you know... We don't even know what his goal is right now. Um, all he's doing is looking for the wizard's stuff. Yes, he's kind of creepy. Yes, with the wizard was an ISA member, and so was Shade. But technically, you know, we don't have any like actual threat of him doing stuff yet. Maybe he's just trying to get some shit and get out of dodge, you know. So I'm I'm curious to see what his role is, is his plot line is. But yeah, good episode as always. Um, what you guys think? Leave thoughts down in the comments below. And oof, I just ugh, yeah, I, I love this show so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.